All right, YouTube, welcome to another video. So one of the things I'm going to be doing today uh, is a bit of debate. Uh, I've been chatting to a few people um, about whether I need them or not. Uh, so I'm talking about the um, polycarbonate window support bar things. Um, I was chatting to some people online who said that I need to install them. Otherwise I'm liable to lose my window. And then I've also chatted to a guy who races R53s and he said I don't need them <laughs> as long as the window fits nice and snug uh, between the rubber seals. So unfortunately I've already bought them so they're going on anyway. Um, but I'm going to combine that with, I've got some Lohen, is that how you say it? I don't know. But I've got some door cards from them as well. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be installing today. It's an absolute mission to just get around the garage at the moment because there's so much stuff around let me show you so we've got got an fn2 rear beam there we've got some uh, r56 rear trailing arms and bits and pieces and bushes and drop links and then right behind me <laughs> i've got my exhaust which i've taken off already because i've started doing some work under the car video to come at some point um, so there's the door obviously so I'm going to start on this one seeing as it's off the car it'll be a bit easier to, to get my bearings I'm thinking actually let me show you what I've got so these are the the support bars I was talking about so they came in pairs been sort of trawling online trying to find what other people have done and so the front one the short one will be at the front and then <laughs> the long one at the back surprisingly so i've been trying to figure out where to put them so i'm thinking i use this hole for the shorter one and i also need that for the uh door cards as well and then this one which is just after the door card finishes i'm going to use for the longer one so yeah, oh, door cards. Here's my door cards. Not sure how well you're gonna see these, because they're obviously black. I'm actually too close to it. <laughs> Can't zoom out with one hand. So there we are, we will see them as they go on anyway. So yeah, I should tidy it up a bit. Um, yeah. I meant to say, these are what the door cards come with. So you'll need a, a rivet nut gun thing unless you sort of do it manually but yeah i've already got one luckily enough i didn't know what kind of fittings it was going to come with so i shall be using that oh and i've got got some door handle strap things as well so i've managed to get the door outside uh, hopefully there'll be enough of a, a gap between showers for me to do what i want to do I think the first stage is to, I think I need to get that screw out there so I can get the door card sitting nice and flat against the door and then I'm going to try and get two of those rivet nuts in so I can just uh, get the door attached and then I'll make sure I mark out all the other holes properly and then drill them out to the right size 6mm I think it is for those rivet nuts and um, yeah then I'll get the um i'll get putting the, the support bars on at the same time i think well especially this one because it's going to be i'm going to be using that hole for two purposes so yeah let's get cracking then
All right, so it's probably a good time to have a recap on all the mistakes I've made. So firstly, I should have drilled through the door card at the same time I was doing the hole in the door to get them lined up properly. It was a bit of a faff. And I think it slightly put everything out of line, as you would have seen by me trying to shift holes by a few millimetres. I've had to start using some washers just to tidy up what I'm doing. Uh, the other mistake was using this square hole to put a rev nut in, because that just didn't hold, that started to spin. So I might just remove that, ignore it, and just carry on from this one down here. Can't see how that would make any difference. Hopefully, yeah, they're all coming to shift the holes slightly. Oh, what a pain. So I'll just come inside because it's absolutely shite weather outside just for a change. That's why the door's soaking wet. Um, so yeah, I just seem to keep making mistake after mistake with this. I don't know why I bother planning it out beforehand. I thought about it yesterday and thought, right, I've got to put the other one of these on before I put the door card on because I obviously won't be able to get to the nut on the other side once I've done that and what do I go and do? Put the door card on. So hopefully I can undo that one and that one and maybe give me enough to, to get my hand behind and get the nut on that. That uh, rivet nut has also started spinning as well so sod that, I don't need that one. Just make do with the, what is it, one, two, seven that I've got. But yeah, <laughs> pissed off with the weather. All right, so what have I broken next? <laughs> you may laugh, but <laughs> I have broken something else. Uh, this I've had to cut because this, these, this hardware is a bit like it's made from butter and it just, I went to undo it and it just rounded off straight away. So watch out for that. So I've had to cut that off. I can't get the rest out. I'll either cut it down a bit f sort of uh, flusher to the, the metal. Um, and I might have to drill another hole to do a rivet nut next to that. So on the plus side, I've managed to get this in. Um, it's a bit fiddly, but you can get a 10mm spanner through that gap, as you can see, to get on the nut the other end. So that's nice and solid. So now, I can put this back on after I've uh, stuck another, another rivet nut in. Um, I hope you're all taking notes and doing exactly the opposite of what I'm doing. So there we are ladies and gentlemen, one door card done. Um, obviously got that there ready for the support bar up to there. I've got this one in ready for a support bar that should be up there somewhere. Uh, I've used one of the existing holes in the door to put a new rev nut in there. Fortunately, we've got a bit of a battle scar there. But at the end of the day, it's a track car, so um, <laughs> that's my excuse anyway. Um, so yeah, I've got to do the next one now, unfortunately. The door's on the car, so I need to try and manoeuvre that off. Which isn't going to be easy in that little tiny cramped space, but there we are. I tell a lie. I'm not quite finished. Yeah, I need to drill holes in the polycarbonate for the top half, the top um, bit of this and the rear one so I should do that now and then I'll probably tighten up once it's in the car once I've got the door shut and it's sitting nice and flush with the, the window in the rubber seals I'll then tighten these up because they've got a bit of movement on them so there we are guys both support bars are installed um, like I said once I've got the door closed, I shall fine tune them to make sure the hole in the window is just in the right place. Um, you know, I don't know if these are the optimum places for them, but it's just from doing a bit of googling and looking for pictures of cars with the same sort of things. So I just filmed my outro, and then I realised I hadn't put the, uh, the little handle thing for shutting the door. So I've just chucked that on. Uh, I think it says to use a washer online. Well, I was using washers anyway, so I put it on there. I don't know whether that's the optimum place, but we shall find out. Now it's time to do the other bastard door. <laughs> oh dear. Thanks for watching as always. Please like and subscribe, and I shall see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. There we are, guys. The passenger door's done now. This one was going so smoothly.
until the last two uh, rivet nuts and bolts um, they just round it off and then I had to get the Dremel and cut the bolts to get them off to, well, there's one of them there so I'd run out of I've had to cut up so many of these to when they've rounded off I would had to use one of my own bolts there which is fine I would say if you want to save yourself the um, just the misery <laughs> I wouldn't use the hardware this stuff that gets provided it's too small this little three mil allen key they just round off so easy then you gotta cut them off I've had a couple of instances of um, the rib nuts just spinning as well so then you have to cut the bolt again and just rivet, put a rivet nut somewhere else but yeah save yourself a headache and get yourself some some decent bolts to use instead um, apart from that yeah it looks right um, got the old strap on I went for a black strap on uh, I went for a black strap here and I've got these on as well so yeah there's the second one done not quite as straightforward as I was hoping